now. Mir is about uh, 850 nautical miles behind Discovery. Mir should be above the moon as you look at it. Okay. Our next event on NASA television will be our video highlights for flight day number eight. These video highlights, which will last about 43 minutes, will begin at 1 p.m. Central Time. In the meantime, after uh, we wait a little bit to see if we can spot the mirror, once it moves into, sun, into the sun, we will uh, be stowing the KU band antenna and thus concluding the television downlink that we expect to get from the vehicle during this mission. We're at a mission lapse time of 7 days, 13 hours, and 17 minutes. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, Mir Space Station is now visible on the uh, far left-hand side of the screen, about, about an inch from the bottom of this particular picture. And there were also a number of shooting stars in that view. The uh, camera has now moved to a point Okay, the Mir space station is the small flashing light in the center about an inch from the uh, left hand side of the screen. It's slowly. It is slowly moving closer to the left hand side and is a uh, very has a very light flashing to it. We think in the middle of the screen, way to the left hand side. And the we've seen a lot of meteors. a lot of meteors. The uh, streaks that are shooting across the screen are um, meteorites, in other words, shooting stars. We think you can see a flashing light just a little bit to the left of the center of the screen, very faint. Yeah, we do see something flashing visually, but we're not sure that that might be uh, from our own leaker. Mirror sunrise in about a minute. Okay.
This is Mission Control Houston. Once again, we believe we were just able to spot the uh, Mir spacecraft as it flies about at 850 nautical miles behind Discovery. The uh, spacecraft appeared at as a uh, very small flashing light and then uh, moved out of the picture as the camera was uh, being moved to try to get a different picture. The one thing that we have noticed in the flight control, t control room is that we've seen a large number of shooting stars during this uh, five minute or so period when we've been watching during this uh, five or so minute period when we've been watching for Mir.